Well, guys, we're off on our first rescue since being back from Las Vegas and messing with all them tanks. It's cold and wet and snowy. Put it out there. Thank you, Josh. Me and Josh are heading out through this stuff here. Pick up some fish and a tank, I guess. So, keep watching. Well, here's the tank. It's a 75 gallon tank and stand. Lots of food and extras and stuff. Look at his collection of fancy tail goldfish. Tracy's just going to fall in love with these guys. Everywhere you look, there's another one popping out. Let me run out and grab the tub. Bigger tank. And then, you know, he got... Oh, so you notes. donated fish to get make room for bigger fish yes. or more new fish. In and a then tank. after seeing the rescue, he wanted a bigger tank. <laughs> that has that effect on people. <laughs> so, oh, well, that's nice. And uh, maybe it, you don't, you just don't enjoy it at all? I enjoy it, but... Too much was, work. He was the one who took care of it. So gotcha. I don't know the ins and outs of taking care of it. Okay. Well... Your fish will go there, and Tracy. I, I mean, even if I tried rehoming them, she's gonna she's gonna whoop my butt. <laughs> she's gonna take hold of these and be like, "Them are mine. They're going in my. I need another tank, Rich. I, need, you know." <laughs> so she loves her her fancy tail goldfish, and her koi. So uh, they will definitely uh, stay at the rescue if you ever want to visit. Okay. okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Josh is here, and there's the hose. And the pump. Okay, there's Joshy catching the fish. If only Matt was here. You know, he'd, he'd catch them easier for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's all kinds of fish everywhere you're looking there. Mm-hmm. Really pretty fancy tail goldfish. Tracy is going to fall in love as soon as she sees these. I'm sorry, guys. None of these are up for adoption. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind, but as soon as I get home, Tracy's going to just steal them from me. So none of you guys got a chance because I got to live with her. <laughs> oh. Very pretty fish. I, that one's my favorite. The calico? That one right oh, there. On the orange one? Mm -hmm. With the big belly? Yeah. And, oh. I, and I like the angelfish. One of the angelfish's name is Big Bully Billy. Big Bully Billy. Don't tell me you named this fish with that big belly, Big Rich, did you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been losing it. I'm down 30 pounds now. Josh bought me this for Christmas and I couldn't get the zipper up. So, well, we got the decorations. There's a bunch more fish. He's still pulling fish out. We got the tank down to about an inch of water. And he's trying to collect all the rest of the fish. Then we're going to start carrying out. We used our handy dandy utility pump with a 100 foot hose to drain it straight outside. Oh, you're catching them by hand. Coolie loaches in the gravel. Okay, we got the tank out. Josh, you can pull that uh, that six pack out of there. We got the stand with the uh, canister filters in it. And there's the fish. Here's the decorations and filter and stuff. Is that a band aid? I don't want to drift blood anywhere. 
Oh, this is my little pumpkin boy got a boo boo. <laughs> I'm so cute. Let me see. Glass thermometer busted. Oh. Just cut me. The perils of this fish world. And the numbers at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay. here with a broken foot carrying tanks it wasn't a good idea You guys see, we got the tank in the stand in and a tub full of the fish. But I think I rebroke my foot. What little bit healed. I was climbing, coming up the stairs with that tank, using the front of my feet, holding me up, and I felt a big snap in my foot. And now I can't walk on it again. So I think what little healing it did, I just rebroke it. But it hurts so bad. We're on our way home. We'll see what goes on from now. Here comes Joshy. The rest of it. That bag's full of all food. That tub's full of all decorations. There we go. All right. Good job, Josh. Thank you. So now, anyways, I have to go to the hospital. I cannot walk on this foot. I had to leave poor Josh to carry the last two boxes up by himself. I couldn't make the trip back down to the basement. So, Josh is going to drive us home. I'll get Tracy to take me up to the hospital. So, we'll continue this video when we get home of unloading. All right, everyone. So, just got the tank carried in. It is a 75 gallon. It's got a nice decorative stand to it. It's a little bit uh, steamy right now because it was outside. Now it's in. Uh, 90 degree weather but as you can see it's sitting next to this 125 we picked up everything is kind of in our way right now we actually just got rid of these uh turtles out of this pond got this snow globe in the walkway got these tanks in the walkway but uh we had to end up removing all all the gravel so we can get it up out of the basement did come with air pump and like my dad said, we got all sorts of food, flake food, pellets, algae thins, what is this, uh, salt, goldfish pellets, goldfish flakes, Tetra Pro Cori wafers, 
So they just went above and beyond and got them guys such a wide variety of food. Now when I show you, you know, what exactly these fish are, you'll see that they are just kind of fat. And then inside this tub here, this is nothing but the hang on the back filter, of course, some driftwood, the lids to the tanks, and heat eaters and other decorations. So coming over here, these guys are actually going to be carried out to the 195. But you can see there's just a big black uh, black moor here. We've got some telescopes here. This is what is this little guy? Another little black looks like a fantail or a randa. This is a big old ryukin. Um, this right here is a calico ryukin. That one's beautiful. This one here is another black moor. You gotta love these guys. Another telescope. There goes another black moor. This is another orange and white ryukin. You can see them guys are just super fat. And then we've got this calico right here. It's got the super nice fan tet tail to him. I'm not sure what kind he is. Looks like another Ryukin, possibly. But there are 10 of them in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, I did count correctly. But that is going to be 10 more fancy tail goldfish in the fancy goldfish tank. Now, over here, I will show you guys after I go to put them in the, the tank, but there's probably about 10 to 15 quarry, some angelfish in there, some uh, plecos as well, but they're gonna go ahead and join this little 100 gallon down here. So this is basically the, the tank that we have all the oddballs coming. Like you can see some guy just came over and dropped off hundreds of these little, little tiny Ba the baby sevrums. Now th these are, are the fish that we can, you know, find homes for the e easiest. So uh, we've actually got someone coming tomorrow that's going to pick up all of these guys here. So this right here is basically the goldfish tank I was referring to. This is a 195 gallon. But if you guys see, we've got more. So when this one fills up, yeah, I believe all three of these are going to be fancy goldfish in here we've got you know some arandas we've got you know other ryuk and, and fantails of such um so them guys are going to all join this and uh we're going to go ahead and pull like the koi out of here and well you know weed through of course the comets are going to go in the pond up front when it warms back up but uh now that we got a bunch more fish for this tank we might uh expand it over to the middle tank right there as well all right, so would you guys look at that? So we got all the fish acclimated. They are now in the tank with a lot more goldfishy friends. I kind of poured in a little bit of dirt in there, so it's just a wee bit dirty in there. But you guys can see they're now uh, getting adjusted to their new tank, new living environment. But they will have lots of friends, and uh, they get to live out their life here at the Ohio Fish Rescue. My mom really likes those calico ones, and there's a few in there. And then uh, the two red and orange uh, Ryukins there, one of them has a name. I forget it off the top of my head, but I will get it soon. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This was the first rescue back since uh, we went to Vegas and got the Bellagio tanks. So I appreciate you guys for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. For those of you who feel the need to help out even more, please share that video. And as always, stay fishy, my friends.